would do? <laughs> no, am I a scientist? I'm a problem. Right. You see, I clean the shit house. Because that's all I do. Clean the shit house. Clean the colon. Clean the cells. Clean the body. And there the body receives oxygen and reproduces itself, all the cell that has been eroded. You cut your nails, they grow back. Am I right? You cut your hair, they grow back. But the difference with the hair and the nails, they are out in oxygen all day long. But the cells internally has to receive that oxygen. You see, so now, what do we do? We deobstruct those arteries, you know, all that milk that you've been drinking all these years. And the cheese that Reagan feed our grandmothers. <laughs> you, you know, cheese. Do you know what you are telling a race of people when you feed their ancestors cheese? He has no respect for us. He has no respect for us when he feeds our parents cheese. He's saying that we are too dumb to realize that he's poisoning our mothers and our grandmothers. That's what he's saying, that you're too dumb to realize that. And she is likewise helpless. Then you tell me I'm arrogant. When I'm seeing the state of the race, I'm arrogant. I mean, I wish I was arrogant. I can't be arrogant with you. You and me and I'm you. If I'm arrogant to you, then I'm arrogant to myself. I don't love you. No, I don't love you. I am you, whether I love you or not. So we talk about disease. It's fed to us every day. Our immune system is being compromised right now. Because I'm inside this building, I can't breathe. Either my parents was breathing in Africa on the plane, standing up on a hill and the breeze blowing by. <laughs> I can't do that now. And I have to wear these clothes all over me and wrapped up because the police that called my parents savages would then take me to jail. I can't do what my poor parents did. I can't live healthy anymore because I have to wear clothes. Because the religion says that I am a savage. Every religion said I was a savage. Well, I preferred the non-religious position because then I could embrace everybody and go back to my parents.